Hello and welcome back to another part of photo editor tutorials. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on what's new in this uh, amazing uh, application. Uh, it's been a while since I uh, last worked with this application and there is uh, a lot of new added features, very cool features, which I'm going to show you today or at least most of them. Uh, first of all, go to the settings. And you can see uh, at the bottom that there is a backup configuration and preset. It means that you, you're you able to uh, backup or to export your presets, you, the presets you created and the configuration that you made in case you have uh, by mistake and uh, remove or delete the application from your device and you need to reinstall it instead of creating new presets and configuration you will be able to uh, import it or actually restore it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, okay, let's start with the tools right here. There is crop puzzle, compress to zip, create PDF, animated GIF, uh, web, web page capture. Uh, let's start with the puzzle. Uh, go to photos. Um, choose uh, one photo you're able to divide it into a few pieces i believe something like 10 by 10 but let's stay let's remain with the default 3 by 3 apply save okay the image has been saved successfully now if you go to uh, the gallery under output you will find nine pieces of the, the puzzle that you created don't bother uh, if it doesn't look uh, cropped correctly, uh, this is only the image that view on this small uh, screen. But if you hit the middle uh, piece and then just scroll it to the uh, left or to the right, you see the the edge are merged uh, merged together. So don't worry, the puzzle, the crop is perfect. Um, let me delete it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, back to the tools and go to the animated GIF plus uh, go to your photo library. Choose. Uh, I'm not sure how many photos you are able to choose, but if you find out, let me know. Let me choose another one. Uh, done. Go into the settings and you can uh, set the interval time between each photo. The default, by the way, is half a second. I've set it here to two seconds. Change the display time of all frames. And now save. Uh, the resolution, the display screen is the default again is 500 by 500 pixel. I've changed it to 750 by 750. Okay. Okay. Uh, just save it. It doesn't take that long. Okay. And go to again to your gallery. Under download, I will find the animation GIF. Again, the interval time is two seconds between each photo. And you may set it as, as much as you want. Very nice feature for the moment. No music can be added. Okay. Um, let me just delete it. Not to be confused. Okay. Um, going back uh, to the batch process, which is a very, very useful and very functional uh, feature. Very professional feature. Hit the, uh, the batch plus, again, choose select few photos again I don't know how many photos you can do in one time in batch process you should find out okay done and task now you can see all the uh, possibilities of the application to make to run the batch process uh, I will choose effect and I will choose uh, black and white high contrast now you need to create a preset prior to the batch process. It means that you will have to go into the application, create a preset, and then go to the batch process. We'll do it in a second. Preset, 
uh, I will choose just a test preset. Okay. Bad job can take, can take a lot of time. Are you ready? Start. It doesn't really take that long. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. At this point, I missed something like a notification of the batch process was complete successfully, something like that. But let's go again to the gallery. And under output, you will find nine photos that were uh, turned into very high contrast black and white. Uh, use this batch process. It's perfect. And you can run many, many batches uh, at the same time. Okay. Delete it. Uh, back to the screen, um, the other options here you probably already know, photos, camera, file browser, new, uh, recent photos. I've set the maximum number of recent photos, which is 20. Uh, this is what I call a life saving. Uh, it means that if you have deleted or removed photos accidentally from your device and you cannot restore it, just go to the recent photos. Uh, select the photos that you worked and you will start exactly from the last time you saved the photo. It means that there is no history for that photo, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Um, okay, let's go into the application. Photos. Um, okay. Uh, at the top, you will see uh, the dimension, the, uh, uh, the yeah, actually the dimension in percentage of the photo. If you just pinch it with your fingers, you will be able to go uh, and see which, what is the 100%. This is the actual size of the photo that were taken with my device, with my Nexus 5. Pretty good quality. Yeah. And I hit the... Uh, like scale to fit or scale to fit this display. Uh, you can go to plus here and change the um, percent percentage of the enlargement up to three uh, zoom buttons maximum. I've set it to the 100, 200, 400 percent. Okay. Uh, an info uh, button which gives you a lot of information about the, the photo that were taking, taken, including the uh, GPS information. Um, a quick uh, snap to uh, your gallery, to your camera, to your file browser, or to create a new uh, layout. And at the bottom, uh, the main menu. Now, you can configure the main menu, the sequence of the appearance of the tabs, as you wish. For example, I've set it to Effect, resize, fit, drawing, frame, crop, color. Here, go to the plus. You'll see the numbers one to up to fifteen, and you can just uh, grab or drag. For example, effect two instead of text image. Okay, and you can represet it or reconfigure it the way you want. Just apply. I'm not going to do the apply. And this is actually the configuration. Once you do it, you may export it or actually back it up in case that you need to reconfigure it after uh, a new installation. So this is what backup configuration means. Now, if you go uh, into the effect, again, many, many new uh, effects that were added by uh, the developer. Um, and again, you can go to the plus and just drag it up and down and create your own list, your own sequence of the effects. Uh, and again, if you will uh, back it up, if you will export the configuration, you will be able to restore it in the future. Uh, this nice feature, this arrow right here at the uh, bottom right, will allow you to work with a clean layout, uh, nothing that will uh, bother your eye. Uh, if you need it, just hit the arrow again. Um, Let's go to uh, a color effect. And let's say that uh, I'm using the exposure uh, 
little bit exposure, less brightness, uh, a little bit more contrast, uh, much less saturation. Hit the star right here, create or oh, add preset, name it. Um, let's call it another test. Okay, now that you can see that there are already four presets. Now, if you go to the settings right here and backup config and presets, and you will be able to export the configuration, import the configuration, and export the presets and import the presets. Don't change the destination folder because it goes automatically to uh, back it up and to restore it. So if you will need in the future to uh, Import the configuration. If you want, if you do change the destination, you will need to look manually for the uh, folder where the backup was created. So don't change it. Okay. Now, um, okay. Let's see what uh, what's new inside uh, the effects. Um, Usually what I do, I resize a little bit the photo. This is a, an old, old habit that I have. You cannot actually uh, resize the photo. I mean, you can resize it, but you cannot make it better quality. So I do it just, as I said, it's an old habit. Uh, apply. Uh, the reason I put the resize fit here in the second uh, place in this is because I use it a lot and usually I go to crop uh, something like that to uh, hide some of the backgrounds the unwanted backgrounds uh, if you want to keep the square format in for example if you want to save it or share it with Instagram so just hit one to one if you uh, not bothering with the a format so just crop it with a free crop uh, okay and apply okay now uh, if you choose for example to work with a, a color tab you can do uh, many things here uh, reduce brightness exposure which is very similar to the brightness but a little bit more contrast uh, but once you do it from here, from the main menu, it will affect the whole photo. If you want to do it partially on a, a few parts in the um, a photo, just go into effect, look for the color. Same, uh, uh, same tabs right here, uh, but because there's no much uh, space here, you need to press the three dots, brightness, contrast, saturation, temperature, tint, you expose and so on uh, so let's say that we have increased the contrast and we don't want it to uh, affect the faces of the body or the bodies of the guys right here so press the all select all uh, invert and press the brush and just enlarge it I'm going to work on this kid, choose the brush uh, and just start to actually brush it and uneffect <laughs> if you may say it like this. Okay, and maybe also the white is to contrast. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's enough. Now, if you hit the inverse, it's the, of course the opposite effect. So, like this or the other way, mm, which is nicer. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, <clears throat> if you're not sure <clears throat> what, uh, how does the effect affect on the picture if it's too small for you? So, just for example. Uh, I'm going to choose a uh, smart blur. Uh, well, it's very noticeable here, but if you 
uh, didn't have the option to uh, to see it. So just uh, enlarge the photo by pinching and look at her face. Okay, this is with the effect. This is I'm sorry. This is without. This is with. Without, with. Okay. At any time you may press the scale to fit and. Again, if you don't want to apply it or to the old photo, so simply brush it out. Okay. Mm, something like this. And enlarge it. And on the background gets smart blur, invert, and insert again. Okay. Um, what else? What else I can tell you? Um, as I said before, many nice uh, effects that were added. I'm not usually a big fan of these uh, effects. It's of course it's a matter of taste. Um, that's about it for today. Hope you uh, learned some things. Uh, if you have any ideas, any question, or any suggestion, please contact me. My email is at the description page. Um, feel free to uh, contact me. Take care. See you next time.